I will just uh, uh, say how much Merck more than a mother is important for us Merck. Uh, as you might know that Merck is the world oldest pharmaceutical and chemical company, established 1668. For generations, uh, social responsibility is part of the DNA of Merck. So we uh, add value, we contribute to the society and scientific community. Uh, we, uh, we share uh, our commitment uh, with all our local stakeholders to make a difference. And Merck more than a mother specifically is very important for me as an African woman. You might know I am from Egypt and also as a pharmacist and the chief officer of Merck, which is it's my job to uh, identify social needs and uh, uh, fill social gaps and cultural gaps. When I came to know uh, about infertility in Africa, while we were doing our diabetes and cancer uh, awareness and prevention campaign, I was speaking to women in the villages where we went in Uganda and Kenya and different places. And came to my mind that there is infertile women who had diabetes actually as a result of the stress of being infertile and mistreated and uh, ostracized by their families and communities. And it broke my heart and made me very sad. And we said, I said, as a leader, because Merck is a leader of infertility management, it's our role to lead the way, to uh, uh, help the stakeholders to define interventions, to reduce the stigma and the social suffering of infertile women in particular, and infertility in general. So I was very sad, but I also was very happy because I was sad that I see this as a condition and the suffering of all these women and I am a woman, I am from Africa and I don't want to see this happening to us. But I also were, were very happy that to find a lot of important people and uh, important stakeholders, influential figures like uh, Ministers of Health, like uh, Minister Sarah Obinzi, like uh, Honorable Joyce Lay, like Honorable uh, 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 Betty today, and this association and the parliament, policy makers, media are interested in joining the vision, the vision of making a culture shift, to change a culture of ostracizing, isolation, and uh, mistreating the infertile women, uh, which result in violence and uh, physical and, uh, and uh, uh, psychological violence, result in divorce, result in even committing suicide, like we've seen in the video in this morning. And uh, uh, so if we join hands all together, we will make a difference. And I was very happy to find under the same roof today, and also we're in Kenya, uh, all these people who are uh, joining this vision and they want to make a difference and they want to make the commitment to make this a change. Merck More Than a Mother will not only uh, define the interventions to reduce the stigma and social <coughs> suffering, but also will provide education for healthcare providers to better manage basic management of infertility. And not only that, also the embryologists, which is, uh, are very limited, number in Africa and Uganda and only one, we are going to provide training for embryologists. So we increase the number of embryologists, which is very important to be able to have access to infertility and regulated and effective infertility care in Africa. Uh, we were going to start the first course maybe in February or March for uh, one embryologist from Uganda, one embryologist from Kenya, in one of our partners, uh, IVF in Indonesia. And uh, this is not going to be the last uh, uh, fellowship. We will follow with other countries and another uh, embryologist from different uh, countries across Africa. Not only that, but we'll also support governments and parliamentarians to define policies and regulation with our also experience in Europe and in different uh, countries, which is uh, already uh, led the way for regulation. We will, we will define that and we will support these strategies. Um, one important topic I want to raise awareness about it, which is very important for us also as Merck more than a mother and as Merck, uh, prevention. Prevention is very important. As you know, it's 85% of the infertility cases in Africa can be preventable. Why? Because it's not genetic, it is not a, a, a physical. It, it came because of untreated infectious diseases. 
So if we focus on prevention campaign and uh, uh, we, we, we start to focus our messages on prevention like we've seen in the video today from our social media, maybe we can, within five years, to eliminate 85% of infertility cases. <coughs> so prevention is very important. Prevention proved before uh, the efficacy of any campaign. I mean, prevention in HIV was very effective. Prevention in uh, in uh, different infectious diseases campaigns was very was very effective, and it will prove effectiveness also in uh, infertility uh, treatment and infertility prevention. So let us also integrate that in our healthcare sectors with HIV programs, with mother and child programs, with uh, maternal health programs, which is already existing as an infrastructure in uh, healthcare. And I will ask you all to join us, our social media, Facebook, Merck More Than A Mother, so you can join and, and, and uh, join the conversation, let your voice heard, what do you think we can do, and what is the strategy we can take, and watch our, our videos, we have a lot of patient testimonies to understand exactly what's happening, to also watch the success stories, and uh, to share it with your families and your communities. Be our ambassadors today. Go out today and be our ambassadors and commit to us at least everyone can speak to more than 10 people from their families, communities, neighbors, and then the word will spread and everyone will know that this is a campaign and we want to achieve and we want to make a difference and we want to make a culture shift. Thank you very, very much for your...